Breaking news, Olusegun Obasanjo, former president of Nigeria, is, I mean, he's speaking uh, uh, in terms of some things that are going on, and um, they say, who get ear making here, okay, who has an ear he should hear, but guess what, the times that we are in, guys don't really care, you see, they said the Tinubu, uh, the Tinubu's uh, Muslim Muslim ticket will destabilize Nigeria. Even DSS, okay, has raised an alarm. DSS has raised an alarm that the Tinubu's Muslim Muslim ticket will destabilize Nigeria as Obasanjo begs Zamf, you know, Zambia's high highest honor but, but they gave up Sanjo zambia's highest honor you know uh he's been honored and um, this is what is happening our very own brother uh tinubu has gone on to pick a muslim muslim ticket undermining you know some other nigerians uh, as much as the people keep calling out and saying what's going on what, what why are you doing what you're doing the guy can't be bothered Honestly speaking, he can't be bothered. He's more concerned about winning the election rather than, you know, uh, whether, what any, any, anybody or any person thinks. He can't really sincerely be bothered, uh, you know, on what anybody has got to say. Um, all he really just wants to know and, you know, co no consign or know whatever is going on is that, you know, he's getting what he wants to get. So these are the possibilities of things going on. Tinubu's Muslim Muslim ticket will destabilize Nigeria, DSS tells Buhari. The All Progressive Congress APC presidential candidate Ashwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu's decision to nominate a fellow Muslim as his vice presidential candidate for the 2023 presidential election is a recipe for the rene renowned crisis that could destabilize Nigeria. An intelligence report by the Department of State's Security Services has revealed. The classified report was sent to President Muhammadu Buhari by the State Secretary S Security Service and shared with an online uh, paper, People Glazia, by the National S Security Office this week. The document, which got to the President by the way of the National Secretary Security Advisor, NSA, General Babagana said Tinubu should consider the security implication of his selection before making it public. However, the time has now elapsed for Tinubu to make any possible correction on that. 15th of, 15th of uh, July has passed. Tinubu has no more choice in those regards or in that ground to be able to you know, pick another candidate if he wants to. As it stands right now, the possibility for him to pick another candidate is really is, is really a, a serious, uh, uh, you know, uh, no no because INEC has a stipulated period and um, that time has passed. Tinubu cannot possibly tell Nigerians, you know, why he wants to do what he's doing. So these are some of the things going on and why all Nigerians are watching to see how these things will play out and what is possibly going on. You know, the days that we are in are days that, you know, tells us, you know, the possibilities of some of the things, you know, that are going on. And Nigerians, you know, uh, it, it, it's, it's terrible, okay? It's terrible. And uh, I don't understand how people can be in a nation and you disregard every other person on the mind. I can't even imagine that maybe one of the presidential candidates picked a Christian Christian ticket. Don't you know that from the north already, there will be a very serious outcry. Somebody would have told them, probably somebody would have told them, maybe in, the, in, 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 the, in their religious quarters, probably in the mosque or something, to say, ah, they want, they want to take you as a slave, blah, blah, blah. Before you could say Jack Robinson, it would have led to a serious outcry. Do you understand? It would have led to a serious outcry in this very safe country, not another one. And, and you know, there would have been a lot of disruption of peace. But, you know, to Christians, uh, to Christians in this country, anything goes and then uh, nobody says anything. OK, anything goes uh, and they feel they can just step on others and just, you know, and just go away with it. It doesn't work that way. 
It doesn't work that way. And we need to begin to get past that mentality and have in our hearts and our minds an inclusive government rather than a government that is for some people that does not carry everyone along. Ashwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu has proven to Nigerians that he can't be bothered by what anybody or any Nigerian is thinking or saying. He just can't be bothered. They can go ahead and say whatever they want to say. Yeah, they can say whatever they want to say. It's to whom it may concern. To him, they are just making a whole a hell of noise, you know, because at this point in time, where he stands, he has uh, looked at the whole scenario because he was accusing Baba Chair that it was the, uh, you know, their political, their, uh, they were the ones who nominated, you know, the peak that he has. Baba Chair said, that was not what we said to you. We gave you the merit and demerit. We ironed everything out. We gave out, gave you, you know, we gave you possibilities of outcomes that you could choose and what could possibly, you know, happen. And guess what? You turned the blind eyes on it. You know, everyone is speaking out and saying this is really wrong. You can't do that. This is seriously and sincerely wrong. You can't go and, you know, say to others that they don't matter. They don't, you don't care what they think or feel. You can't do that. You just can't do that. So these are some of the days upon us and why every one of us have got a duty of care to ensure that, you know, what's, what, is, what it is is what it is. Okay, we refuse to allow ourselves to be intimidated and to be, you know, to be pushed aside. The time to begin to arise and to ensure that, you know, we take the right decision, we take the right steps at the right time. That time is now. And it starts from us speaking, you know, getting in, in you know, in getting in the right people into leadership, into places, you know, of, of importance or prominence. So that at the end of the day, we all can truly and sincerely be happy. OK, if we don't do that and we allow these ones that, you know, most of them are just parading things that suits, that suit them, then there's trouble. I can assure you for free, there is trouble. There will be serious consequences okay with regards to those you know those options being laid out there and so it is time we begin to look at things very well and ensure that um, we stand for what is right okay it is what it is the elections are right around the corner and every one of us have got a duty to ensure that you know this is dss telling tinubu your choice will destabilize the country and buhari they don't care because they feel they can do it and get away with it and nothing will happen. Okay? Uh, it's sad, but it's the reality. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Remember, you have a voice. Let it count. God bless. Have a lovely and a fantastic day from us. It's bye for now. Bye.